G'day, we are Ocean Grove. You are watching Austin Underground. What's up everybody, this is Tristan Stitt from Austin Underground. I'm here with two of the members from Ocean Grove, an Australian band, and this is... Dale, I am the bassist, four strings and singer. And... Luke, uh, I'm the vocalist, the main man, and I've got one mic. All right. Um, so you guys uh, have been on this tour. You're about halfway through it, started at the start of this year. Um, how's it been going? How do you guys like America so far? Uh, uh, it's been like really good. Obviously, that's been a common question. You know, yeah, we're making assume. our way through, yeah. and it's been really like great to actually answer that saying. Like it's been really positive. Good. You know, everyone's yeah. been really welcoming. Good to hear that. And I mean, it's a, as a climate and 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 everything, it's a lot different from back home. You know, right. we've experienced a lot of snow and things that we're not really okay. accustomed to. But you know, we're really lucky to be on this tour. We're playing a lot of really stellar A-class venues that I think a lot of bands, even from over here, would would kill to play. Yeah. You know, to come over here for the first time and um, yeah, and to play these venues that have great sound in front of a lot of people. Um, and to be getting the response that we're getting, I, I don't think we could be putting ourselves in a better position. So, yeah, we're wrapped. Yeah, awesome. yeah. I think that question, like, how's it going, you know, it's like there's so many things that it could apply to, but, yeah. like, it's it's going awesome in, in every way because this is our first time here. So just as people and, I like, guess, tourists and, and being able to absorb, like, different culture and different environments, different uh, foods, whatever it may be, it's awesome in that. Um, the shows have been really amazing. The venues have been good like Dale said but also the feedback that we've got from from like the American and Canadian fan base has been amazing as well like that's what's really blown us away that you know we're opening these shows um and a lot of people probably haven't heard of us before but yeah we're kind of walking away at the end of each night with so many people saying you know come back you, you guys know, are we're, great we're, yeah. we're, we're on board with it and um I think that's like that's at the end of the day that's the reason why we're here and I'm like super happy about the fact that it seems to be going well in that, you know, um, area of things. Would you guys say this is your first major tour? Like, is this the first time you've traveled so far um, for... Because you just released the album Rhapsody Tapes. Yep. Yeah. Um, and is this the first tour you've done for that album? Because you released it, um, like, early, mid-2017, right? Yeah, correct. Yeah, well, we, we've actually just come off a month-long tour in um, Europe. Okay. So... Uh, We've had that. We've toured. We've toured it once in Australia. I feel like there's there's plenty of more touring to do for the album, and so many more ears that you know um, need to hear it. But uh, yeah, we, we've done a, a lot of a lot of touring in, in the past year. But this tour um, is definitely the longest, biggest tour mm. we've done. Right. Probably the first from home. Yeah. So it's probably like, yeah. I, I mean, touring in Australia is five, six. Uh, cities, you might do two right. in each city, so this is like a, I feel like it's proper tour tour, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, just a quick run. Hear about and it's definitely our first time in America, bar one for all of us personally, so okay, we've cool. been over here cool. as people, so it's um, yeah, it's definitely a significant moment. Awesome, and what's it like uh, touring around with August Burns Red, a very, you know, big time established band here for us also it? kind of I think they're also kind of nostalgic as well you know they've been around for so long we you know have memories of being like 15 14 15 and going to see them at like you know the big uh concert hall like in Melbourne where we're from so, so. you guys have actually seen them before some of you at least yeah oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah awesome Very yeah. Cool. I mean I've been telling people it's quite funny like Someone brought to my attention, but like our very first band promo, I'm wearing an August Burns Red T-shirt. No you way. know, and like we're like 14 or something. And so yeah, that just shows you like how how wild this whole thing is. So. Yeah, it's awesome. We toured with them in Australia, and when we when we finished that tour, they kind of said to us, which we probably didn't make sense of at the time, but they were like, um, you know, I don't think this is like a goodbye. You know, we're not going to see you again. I think we're going to be seeing you again, whether it's you know at Europe at a festival or this or that. You know, and I think that was just them saying like. You know, we, we, we see the potential in you, and I think, yeah, they were just waiting um, till we got to the point where touring around the world was... A few hairs on our up. chest. Yeah, a few hairs on our chest, yeah. and a wow. few more, uh, you know, lessons been learned, you know, in terms of music and everything. Mm. Um, but they're really good. They're, like, kind, yeah, very kind stand -up people. Guys. Yeah, stand-up guys. Yeah, really respectable, and everyone in the industry really respects them and kind of what they bring to the table and how they go about it, so... 
Yeah. Wow. You're not going to own it for a Grammy for nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's very true. So you guys uh, kind of are trying to distinguish yourself as a new form of music. Uh, I read that. Uh, you characterize and call it as an odd world music style. Mm -hmm. uh, how would you really describe that odd world style that you're trying to patent in a way? Uh, I guess it, the, the birth of it sort of came from not really knowing how to answer the question oh. of what our sound was in the first place. Because that's the first question around. everyone asks. Exactly. And you know, like, and uh, I think part of it was like, we didn't have the answer and we also... You know, I'm just reading a book on <clears throat> Metallica at the moment, you know, the birth of thrash metal and all yeah. that. And the same thing, you know, at the time this music was being created, no one had a name for it because they were like, it's, it's new and it's different. And, 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 and even then they were like, you know, we don't want to be pigeonholed in, in terms of like being a, a glam or a, 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 just a heavy metal band. Like, that's not what we're about. Like, we want to be something different and, right. and there shouldn't be any boundaries to the music that you're writing. And I think we very much have that. Um, that same um, ideolog ideology. Ide Ide ideology. Ideology. That ideology. That was good. That was yeah, good. yeah. I've had a coffee. I should be able to. Yeah. That one. Um, <laughs> it came out. <laughs> it came out one way or another. Um, and yeah, so like, I think that's what spurred that idea of being like, we don't really have an answer to that question. And I guess if you would describe it, it's sort of at this very point in time, like a blend of like tools that we have now in terms of electronic music yeah. and that wasn't necessarily present in the 70s or 80s you yeah, know no. and that kind of modern sound mixed with a very nostalgic heavy sound you yeah, know and yeah. blending those two Good together blend, and seeing yeah. what we come come up with and um yeah it's very much hyper realistic and experimental and um yeah delving into areas where you know people might not have thought that you could do that with heavy music but like I said, you know, it's kind of like... Experimenting with different yeah, kinds of... Yeah, there's no boundaries. Yeah, so levels of perception. Yeah, and that's why Odd World kind of sums it up, because it's like, I guess it is odd. It's weird, but like, you know, we kind of invite you to enter this new way of thinking and new way of, like, creating heavy music, because, right. like, we feel like it's the time where a lot has been done with heavy music, but there's so much more to go, and yeah. why not be, you know, on the front foot with that? So. Of course. Yeah, totally. You agree? Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. I think I think the, what it really stems from is not wanting to put ourselves in a box and right. say, okay, if we identify as this singular form of music, you know, then we need to stick to that or we need to operate within this boundary. And, you know, when it, when it came to that, we really wanted with this record to push boundaries to explore all the different tastes of music we have, all the different passions of music we have. And I guess, yeah, it's just... The music that we have is the sum total of our musical experience, our musical taste. There's things that, you know, I can bring to the table that, you know, the, the rest of the guys, um, you know, it's not something they've delved into and, you know, everyone brings their own flavour and own experience to the table and I guess what we're doing with our music is exploring that spectrum and <clears throat> why it makes sense to me is because I know that most people, I'd say most people, they're not just heavy music fans, you know, you could ask anyone coming to the show and they're not going to say, no, I listen to heavy music, that's the one thing I listen to and that's yeah. it. You know, I think everyone has a broad spectrum of taste yeah, and all we're sure. doing is, um, you know, ensuring that our music can tap into all these different flavours and maybe introduce some people to a new style of music and if we can have people say, oh, we don't, don't listen to that much heavy music but, you know, we can't really identify, really get into to the music you're making, um, that's also bringing the heavy music that we come from to a different level and it's also inviting people into what we're doing and that yeah, I guess maybe not what it wouldn't originally be into this heavy metal kind of music that's what you're hoping to yeah. bring in other people yeah. we've yeah. had that you know we've had people come out like one of the first shows as a guy well a girl and her boyfriend she was like so excited she was coming up she's like you know I need to tell you this like my boyfriend he like doesn't listen to heavy metal at all like he listens like classical <laughs> but like he loves you guys and it's just like you know that's cool wow. like that's just that's a really good example of like we're somehow like yeah connecting with these like musical that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that might not necessarily connect with much else and it's like that's a cool feeling I think yeah. being open minded with your music it allows you know it invites people to be open minded you know with uh, accepting this, the type of music that you're into too and inviting people in and you know not being like we're this band you know if you don't like this then it's 
you know, you got to fit in this box with us, but we're just saying, like, doors are open. Awesome, awesome. Well, uh, it's been a really great, uh, great opportunity to talk to you guys. Uh, you guys were in Houston a couple nights ago. Now yep. you're in Austin. Yep. How, how, how do you like Texas so far? Is it going we, right? uh, <laughs> Shout out to Bucky's. Yeah, Bucky's. Yeah, Bucky's. Okay, that's a because good shout out. <laughs> I feel like we've got a couple of friends from Texas. Um, we just toured okay, with a cool. band from uh, Houston uh, called Invent Anime. And, oh, cool. Uh, the guy, uh, Austin, our friend that we're touring with, Austin from Austin. Um, <laughs> Massachusetts, of course. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah he's, uh, he's coming around with us, so we've... we've, we've being from Australia, you hear so much about America. It's all in the movies, and um, you know, until you come here, you, you don't understand. But they said Bucky's is like the sum total of like the everything's bigger in Texas yep. kind of thing. Um, and it's we like love a gas we, station mall. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, yeah that's how I sound me that. Like, yeah. yeah, and so you know, it's amazing, and um, the shows here have been super awesome. And I think, um, yeah, it's totally a thing. The the whole hospitality thing, you know, um, in the South is it, such a thing because. People just, as soon as they figure out that we're from a different place, they just come and even even if they're not saying like, I saw your set or I enjoyed your music or whatever, they just say, hey, I hope you're just enjoying your time in the country and welcome and you know, um, awesome. I hope you have a great time and that that's like, makes touring around, being away from home so much better when you feel like totally welcome in a new place. Um, awesome. So yeah, Texas has been awesome and I'm hoping tonight like this venue's huge, so I'm yeah, gonna go rip one for sure. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for being here, no and worries. thanks for coming to Austin. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. from Austin Underground, Tristan Stitt, signing off. Gotcha. <laughs>